What is poppin' you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, today, if you can tell by the episode or the title, if you can tell by the title, I am doing a new video or a new series on my channel and this one is actually like very highly requested. You guys always ask like, I wanna see you rework pieces, I wanna see you like do what you do, like what do you do with these pieces if they don't fit you type of thing. And so, um, last week I pulled out my, you know, good old sewing machine because she was, uh, in my closet for quite some time. I took fashion in high school for all four years pretty much, so I know how to sew. I know like the basics of sewing. I'm not gonna tell you, say, sit here and be like, I am the greatest sewer in the world because that is very, very untrue. I'm not like the greatest in the world, but I do know how to sew. So I pulled old Betsy out and um, I decided to, you know, do a little filming for you guys. So I have a couple pieces, a couple pieces that have been sitting in like this big bin. I have like three big bins of pieces that like need to be reworked for either selling on my Depop, by the way, if you want to check out my Depop, it's Melissa8 if you're looking for some, you know, new good good, just definitely go check that out and you know, while you're at it, follow me on my um, Instagrams, I have two Instagrams, I actually have a new Instagram, so go follow me on that one, it's Shop Threads Vintage. I will link it up right here and then also follow my personal which is at Threads Obsessed and uh, any other socials that are up there, just follow those. So I have a bunch of pieces that I want to rework for you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna do three or four. Um, so we will see how long this takes. I don't want this to be like the longest video ever, um, but I do have my iced coffee. And I guess that's a little bit, uh, a lot of uh, jibber jabber, so. Let's get into this video. Okay, so the first piece that I am going to be working is this beautiful like tweed skirt. I love the color of it and the pattern of it. I hate the length of it. It's not flattering on me whatsoever. I'm not into like the semi midi skirt. I'm into like mini skirts right now if we're being completely honest. I'm totally into like the early 2000s vibe. It gives me such like Chanel-esque vibes, but I want it to be shorter. So that is the first piece that we will be reworking. This is like the easiest type of rework with when you're just like hemming something. Um, but the first thing you gotta do is like try it on and make sure that it will fit you. Honestly, I'm just gonna wing it because I kind of tried it on and I kind of know where and I marked it where. So that's the first thing you gotta do. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I cut off the bottom of it. Um, so I don't have that excess material while I'm sewing because it just kind of gets in the way and it's annoying But the thing that you want to do is make sure you leave like about two inches Longer than you actually want the skirt so you can hem it and you can have like a nice finished Hem and that way it leaves you a little extra material because if you cut too much off remember you can always cut more off But you can't put it back on if you know what I'm saying. So make sure to leave it a little bit longer rather than shorter so when you hem it, it will have like a nice finished look and it won't be like, you know, too short and it will have a nice look. You'll see, you'll see. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is grab your pins. I probably should have told you guys what you need for sewing, but you just need like little pins, sewing machine and scissors is pretty much, and maybe like a marker to mark some stuff. Um, but I have like these pins and you're gonna pin where you want to sew so that you can obviously stay on a straight line and you're not like completely winging it. Sometimes I do that and it, and it doesn't turn out so well. So I I've learned my lesson so make sure to have some little pins to pin where you want to hem and flip it inside out that's the other big tip is flipper inside out of your pins in you want to make sure that it like lines up properly so it's not like one side is like super long like a lot longer than the other Sometimes that can turn out in your favor though come to be completely honest like when you're doing tops or something if the, the back should kind of be a little bit longer sometimes that's a little tip right there um, but mine is looking pretty good I think and now it's the easy part we just got to sew Okay, so 
the sewing portion is done, all you gotta do is cut off your loose threads, flip her inside out. It could also maybe use like a good iron, but there you have it. Skirt is finished, it looks super cute. Now let's go see how I would style it. Oh my gosh, this is literally the cutest skirt that I own. It literally fits me perfectly like a glove the length is literally everything it's a little bit crooked but it is so perfect and beautiful and everything that I would ever want in a skirt and this is how I would style it with some sneaks cute little you know just plain white bandeau top maybe I could even put like a, a graphic t-shirt with something like this I have my little newsboy cap that's white my summer version and my Chanel bag because this is just like such a Chanel-esque vibe skirt I am obsessed with this and the skirt was probably like five dollars at the thrift store and I just hemmed it myself and it's literally so chic and so cute and I'm obsessed with it and it is perfect Okay, so the next flip that we're gonna do is this beautiful rainbow dress. I love the colors of it. The actual like body of it, like the structure of it, I'm not like the biggest fan of. It's just like a very flowy, it's a little bit long. It has like um, this neck halter top part to it. And I feel like this would be really cute if it was like a two piece. So I think I'm gonna alter it. I'm gonna leave the top as is. I love how the top is, but we're going to un do the thread here so it detaches from the bottom and then we're gonna turn the skirt into like a little mini -er skirt and that is the plan for this one so let's get going A lot longer than expected I ended up using like one of these really handy dandy tools instead of the scissors because the scissors like took so long and then this was also long but like not as long as the scissors would take so now I'm just gonna take some of the threads that are like all in this out that's easier but like how freaking cute is this little bandeau top I think I'm gonna chop these off now Okay, so that should be good now. I love this. I'm definitely keeping this. This is like, even if the skirt part doesn't work out, this is so cute. I have the skirt part, which does not look like a skirt anymore. Um, it's literally just a big piece of rainbow loving goodness. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut across one of the lines. So this is the top part of the skirt and we are going to cut I think I want to use the top part of the skirt actually so we're gonna cut it to make sure that it is long enough so we're gonna just chop it down to here and we're gonna go across one of these lines like so and then we are going to we're gonna cut right down the middle here And now we have one big piece of fabric. Okay, this is going to look kind of strange, but the situation is this. I want it to be like kind of like a wrap skirt little situation. So I had wrapped it over here and it's pretty short, you know, and then the top will go like this. I know we got a lot of stripes going on here, but if that makes sense. So when in doubt, try it on and pin it while it is on. So that is what I'm gonna do right now, just so I can have like a little bit of knowledge about how short I want it to be because we are like playing with very little fabric. I cut it like a tiny bit, like too short. I should have left a little bit of room as I mentioned before. Didn't listen to myself. So um, we're going to just pin it while it's on and just so I know exactly what I want to do. We're all pinned all the way around. It looks really, really good. I'm super excited about it. Um, and now we just have to sew, so wish us luck.
All right, guys, my pieces are complete. Let's go try it on and see what it looks like. I'm super, super excited. Let's go try it on and see how I would style it. Let's go. Literally the cutest two-piece set that I own ever. And I made it myself. It's literally so freaking cute. I love the whole wrap part of it. I love the fit of it. I love the color, obviously. And like, just look at this look. This is just such a cute summer look. I'm so into it, oh my gosh. And like, if you feel, like if I feel a little uncomfortable with it being like, it's pretty short, like it's not long whatsoever, but I can obviously put like some shorts underneath it. If I knew how to make it into a skirt, I would have definitely done that, but I don't know how to do that. So I could wear like some cute like red booty shorts underneath it if I really think it's necessary, but I don't really think so. It's just like really cute overall. I can wear the, this together, I can wear it separately, and I'm just in I'm so into it. It's just so cute. Okay, so I will usually do three flips, two or three flips. Um, one that's like kind of hard, one that's like decently hard, and then one that's like probably pretty easy just because um, for the most part I'll be hemming things. But these are actually a pair of jeans that I dug up in my wardrobe. So I've had these for quite some time, but I never wear them. And it's because they're not cropped. Like I like when jeans are cropped. I don't like really rolling them that often. I like when they have like a semi crop to them, honestly. Like that's exactly what I'm going for. So. We're gonna cut her off, and that's basically what these will be, and then we will style them, and I'll show you guys what the finished result looks like. You can even like throw these into the wash. So quickly, just measure yourself, mark off where you want to cut. I already marked off where I wanna cut right here, and then we will try them on and see what they look like. And it's as easy as that. I could hem them, but I personally like the rugged look. I think it's just like really cute. And let's go see how I would style these. Okay, so these are how the jeans look. I love them. They used to be like super not cute because they were longer, obviously. I think everybody needs a pair of white jeans for the summertime, especially these are so cute with like the brown stitching. So this is how they turned out. I love them. This is how I would style them with for just like a very spring summer look, the super bright t-shirt that I've been wearing all video, and then this really cute beaded vintage bag. My Zara sunglasses and then some thrifted like chunky platform sandals. I feel like this is just really cute and something that I could wear on like an everyday basis and yeah I think it's so cute. Of how they hit me right above the ankle. This is just such a simple way to update your old jeans. Just chop them off and they look really cute. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode of Thrift, Flip, and Style. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys have any ideas for the segment, definitely let me know. You guys know I love my segments or my series. I hope you guys did enjoy this. I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. I felt like today was a really good day for the fact that like they all turned out pretty good. And so yeah, that sums up this video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below and also click on the little bell button so you can, not you can be notified for when I do post a video. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias that I mentioned before. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, but it's all right. Oh, but it's